the RX-8 is back from its MOT, it's past its MOT, so now we need to get the interior clean. And what we're going to do, we're going to take all the seats out, clean all the carpet, steam all the dashboard, you know, all that good stuff. We'll clean all the seats, including wet back in it, and then we'll put all the interior back together. First of all, we'll start out by taking all the stuff out of the car, all the rubbish, all the this stuff and just things that have accumulated in the car while I've been working on it and then we'll get to taking the seats out all right take the seats out we've got one and then one two, uh, second one just under there and one there same on the other side same on the uh, passenger seat and then the rear seats just clip out so we'll get to doing that now these these are 14 mil bolts and we'll, we'll get them off now Now they're all unbolted, get them out of the car. These are literally the easiest seats I've ever taken out of a car due to the back door being a suicide door. Gives you loads of room, watch. Easy as that. Okay, so a total light, there was two bolts, one there, one there for the, the back of the seat, uh, and then it was lifted up and came straight out. That's all the seats out, we'll now hoover the carpet, get out any grime, and then we'll get to cleaning all the plastics and making it all nice. All right, for hoovering and cleaning the interior, you want your small nozzle for your hoover, detailing brush, and then more a stiffer brush for your carpet, and then just hit absolutely all over your carpet every last bit brush it out hoover it up brush it out hoover it up keep going until it's absolutely spotless Right, then that's all the carpets hoovered and the loose dirt off as much as I can. Now what we're going to do is just give the dash a hoover, get rid of all the dust, door cards, things like that before we actually start cleaning the carpet, uh, the pedals, etc. Now get your steamer, just the steam attachment, and we're gonna work from pretty much the top down, because any dirt that drips off here, if there is any like major dirt, it's just gonna land in the carpet. So we're not gonna clean the carpet first, and then we'll work our way throughout the car. All right, so it's already looking 100 times better. This is now matte rather than shiny and glossy. Uh, I do need a new steering wheel. I'm thinking about getting aftermarket steering wheel because I'm not really bothered about having steering wheel controls in this car. So uh, if you want to get at me and let me know. So if anyone knows which is the best one to get or the nicest one, let me know. Or if anyone wants to send me out a nice steering wheel, uh, just let me know. All right, I've got a piece of a magic eraser. Auto finesse is hide, which is the lever cleaner. I'm just going to apply a bit and ever so carefully with light pressure, just go around the whole steering wheel, try and get some of this grime off. Go very steady because these are abrasive, so we'll see if we can get a nice finish on this.
that has come up mint. And we all know shiny leather is dirty leather, so keep your clean. Now we'll get on to cleaning the seat. Um, they're not not too bad, but you know they've got a bit of, bit of grime on them and stuff, so we might as well clean them all up dead now. Now it's all clean, looking nice, we'll get the interior back in. Alright, so that's the interior completely cleaned. As, I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't been able to clean the mats in the car because the car hasn't got any. So let me know in the comments below if you know where I can get some real nice ones. Or, and don't forget, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.